Hello everyone, it's Deli here, obviously, and welcome to the next part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Single Dad, yay! <laughs> so we are uh, back in Samai Shuno, and if you guys have been keeping up with this and you watched the last part, you would know that we are nearing the end of this mini-series. The purpose of this series was to kind of uh, give us a Let's Play to fill in the time between, um, or before Get Famous came out, and when Get Famous came out, I was very much focused on that because I wanted to test out the new game pack and see all of the new get famous uh stuff in there so yes this uh this let's play got a little bit forgotten about but we are coming back to finish it and i was thinking we'd play it until ami passes away i think that would probably be a good time to close up this let's play which is kind of sad because i've been really enjoying it uh a lot oh there's a talent showcase going down the lounge let's go embarrass ourselves i mean eh, i, I want to show you guys a few things first so it looks like Azra is already asleep. So is her brother Hayden, who's actually had a little bit of a makeover. He was looking pretty bad when he aged up. Wan is also napping and Ami, the elder, is the only one who's still awake. So that's crazy. <sighs> that is super crazy. But I have to I have to show you a few things because I've been busy off screen, you guys. Mama Deli has been making sure our save file is looking good for this part because uh, there's there's quite a few things that needed to be done. Number one on my list was to finish the apartment. So we've had a few things done. Uh, by the way, the mother, Naomi, hasn't moved in. She's just chilling. <laughs> She's just visiting. Uh, but I did finish off this lounge room with a few ottomans on the floor and that like wooden bench table. I think this plant might be new as well. So I wanted to do that. Uh, and of course, um, Azra's room needed to be completed as well. Her room was looking a little bit bare in some way. So I filled up the walls with some flowers. We've changed her doona to be purple with purple curtains. And oh, sibling time in the same bed. Is that weird? I don't know. I don't have a brother, but I don't know what's what what is allowed, what's not allowed. I mean, given that they're just napping, I guess it's fine. But I'm a bit like, do you really want to be in the same bed with your brother? <laughs> uh, so we have matching curtains. She's obviously very into the color purple and she's got some skateboards on her wall. So there we go. Oh, also I got her writing a few short stories. Um, so her leveling, her writing skill is leveling up. And I even sold a couple to a publisher. So Azra is going to be getting um, some money from her books, which is really exciting. And they even gave her a little bit of celebrity stuff status too, which is crazy. Uh, I wish I had been filming because I didn't realize that would happen. So she is a notable newcomer. Uh, well, Ami's room's kind of the same, but she has a few artworks saved from the kids. <laughs> and then I got the dad to like a wand to do this really cool mural on this garage door for his son kind of giving the vibes of I guess the Humphreys family and Go Gossip Girl how their Brooklyn apartment has like garage doors and stuff but anyway this is um, the new bedroom for Hayden I think it looks kind of cool I did want it to have a few more softer pieces so I put in this tree and this like interesting painting you know it's not typically or stereotypically masculine or teen boy but I thought it was nice to just have something a little bit different and a little bit more eclectic Given that the dad's taste is a little bit, is a little bit eclectic in some ways, I guess. A few of you guys were also saying that it didn't really make much sense that you had to go through the study to get to the main bathroom. So I actually changed a wand's ensuite to a main bathroom where the door is on the other side. So this is like a little bathroom in here, nothing too major. If you go through here where the laundry used to be, it's now like a green slash study room, which I kind of thought was a nice idea. I don't know if you guys have seen this where you have like a study surrounded by plants, but I was like, that, that would actually be really, really nice to study in that kind of environment. So I just uh, kind of mix the two. And then if you go through this door, the massive bathroom uh, is a little bit smaller now, it still has the laundry stuff in there. And then of course you go into a wands room, which looks a little bit smaller, but it's still pretty cool wardrobe and all of that good stuff. I also gave a few of the friends of the family a makeover because some of them were looking a little bit weird. Um, so you'll notice, who is this? Aurora. Aurora? Do we even know you? Who knows Aurora? Is she our friend? Ashlyn is one that I gave a little makeover. I gave Ashton some new clues. Ramen needs some new clues. 
Clerks. Did I say clues? Oh no, Aurora is one of our really good friends. Oh my gosh, why aren't we like being more friendly with her? <laughs> ah! Anyway, I think the romance festival might be on right now too. I wonder if we can just catch that. I assume it's, ooh. Uh, actually, you know what we can do? We can just check on the signage in our apartment or outside our apartment to see when this romance festival is on. Oh, oh, here, here it is. It's glowing. Uh, read about festival. Quickly, quickly, we don't want to miss out. It's 7 p.m., 5 to 1 a.m. today. Awesome. At the after school hangout. Nice one. Let's travel there. Uh, and I was thinking we should invite Ashton because he's he's our crush at the moment <laughs> and I'm actually thinking maybe Hayden should come along and Aurora you know what let's let's not make it just for romance let's just bring all the friends over uh just all of our friends that we enjoy the company of they can come and uh Mariko didn't make the cut because I'm pretty sure she's an adult not that it's not okay for adults and teens to hang out but I rather just keep it like School friends, potentially. Uh, also, Hayden's cooking's coming along, you guys. I've been working on that a little bit because I do want him to take over from his grandmother eventually. Uh, and Juan's work is doing really well. I think he leveled up to level six of his career. So that is nice. Yay, everyone is here. Oh, I love the romance festival. It's so relaxing, the music. Anyway, uh, this is cute. Can we have a little fantasize about weddings under there? And Hayden, I think he should go straight for the fireworks over here. She's like, oh my God, I can't for one day to get married. <laughs> And I think we should all drink some security. Haha, <laughs> security, get it, get it. Let's pour some together. Oh, oh, we're missing the fireworks that Hayden just lit off. Is that the, that's not the fireworks. Oh my gosh, it, those are the fireworks Hayden lit off. Good grief, that, uh, that, was, that was extra and we didn't even get to see it properly. <laughs> Why can't we drink the security together? Oh no, look who it is, Ramen is here. I swear Ramen has a big fat crush on Azra here. Like I feel like he always is trying to get her attention. Oh wait, we invited him, my bad. But I just, in my head, there's a storyline that he's obsessed with us. <laughs> look at this, we have like a nice teen hangout group. I mean, we could we could just make a club, actually. Let's create a club. Uh, let's just do like a teen hangout. I don't know, let's just do games. Teen hangs, and we'll just invite a few of the teens, like Emily, Aurora, Ashlyn. Okay, now it's just turned into an old girl thing. Is Kay a teen? She looks like a teen, but I don't know if she is. Damn it, if we invite Kay, we can't invite our brother to the hangouts, which would be handy now. Oh, we need more room. <sighs> we'll just have to keep it with these two. Sorry, Raman, you didn't quite make the cut. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. At least it's, it makes life a little bit easier at times for everyone to be able to hang out. Okay, well maybe uh, Hayden, I wanna see what his relationship is with uh, Aurora. It's not that good, uh, but we could just like mention the festival. Does he get along with this girl more? Emily, they kind of get along. Let's just joke about getting together. What about this girl? Does he, oh, he gets along with Ashlyn a lot. So maybe let's discuss, let's let's maybe go over to her. Let's bail on the other two girls. Goodbye. Curfew is about to start. If you don't get home soon, then you'll get in trouble. No. Oh, fine. One of the parents are gonna have to come over here. I think if her parents here, it's fine, right? What is that? A lily flower in the middle of the city growing. It's like glowing too. That's a little creepy. All right, let's get Azra to go over here to her crush and they can have a little bit of a monkey around. So look at this, they're having some cute little moments. Oh, she's got a few uh, things to work on here. Oh, look at this. Okay, let's just talk about our flirty dream we had last night. <laughs> and through some petals, we wanna, we wanna get through some of these interactions. <laughs> Uh, oh, it doesn't change if their dad is in the vicinity at all, I don't think. Okay, how are these guys going? Oh, I feel like their relationship uh, maybe went down a little bit. Ask about woohoo. Oh no. Discuss the fine cuisine that is available. Ask about day. And I mean, we could go for a little bit of a flirt. Like at least tell the girl she looks nice. 
And at least ask if she's single. Oh my gosh, Ramen. Now he's he's trying with Aurora and Aurora's like, please leave. <laughs> Okay, I think so far so good. So far so good. Also, what does a one? Oh my god, he's asleep on the bench. He needs to try a bubble blower. Is there a bubble blower here by chance? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Okay, fine. Hayden, go home. You're falling asleep. Okay, Ashlyn is single, so he can continue the flirtation. Uh-oh, uh their responsibility is going down. Uh-oh. Reveal crush that... His crush is her. <laughs> and Ashton, things are going okay, but I feel like things could be a lot better. Maybe we could try and have a first kiss. Uh oh, no, she's gone out of the responsible range. Oh, let's do a little first kiss. Let's see. I feel like they already had a first kiss, but honestly, I can't remember you guys. I'm sorry. Let's see if it happens. If she gets declined, I'm gonna be so sad for her. She's not even making eye contact with him. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. No, Ramen! 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 Get out of my way! See, I told you he likes her. He's just always there. I know they're making a little bit of small talk before. Oh, her friend was like, ooh, they're sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Where did he go? Uh, I don't want their responsibility to keep going down. They're gonna get in so much trouble. Oh my gosh! 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 His sister nearly ruined his first kiss! Oh, so Hayden ended up having a first kiss, not Azra. But that's still pretty cute. Oh, look! Oh my gosh! This is cute, you guys. Okay, so the focus has more been on Hayden and his new girl. By the way, she's wearing the new fan earrings. Don't they look cute? Ew. I, I find that a little bit much. Invite to stay the night? I mean, that's pretty bad. That's naughty, but let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, they're both going to be invited to stay the night. They're like, we, we were meant to be home at 10 but you should come home with us. And yes, I know they are busting for the toilet. So once they invite each other to stay the night, uh, then then we will get them to. Oh no, I think Hayden's bailed on the idea and gone to the bathroom. Oh, I really wanted him to ask Ashlyn to stay the night. Let's see. Although they can just go home and get food. That's true. Okay, let's go home. Okay, we are back and Ashlyn has come home with Hayden. I've just extended his room a little bit because the bed was pushed up against the wall, which meant that Sims can't mess around. But I think that now Hayden is a teenager. He's a little bit cheeky. Uh, Azra is a little bit more responsible. So she, uh, she's gone to sleep without any, any funny business. But Hayden here and Ashlyn are messing around a little bit, which is quite naughty. So we're just going to let them do their thing. Army's asleep and uh okay it looks like we still have Azra's love interest Ashton here but I think what she'll do is get up and be like um try and go for a first kiss I feel like he's gonna decline her though we could maybe go for a little flirt as if he's kind of walked her home and yeah, we can go for a little flirt, compliment appearance, like, thank you so much for having me tonight, a little embrace. And then if that goes well, then we'll do the first kiss. Oh my gosh, I just realized her door's been deleted as well, so he can't leave. She looks a bit nervous. She's like sitting down, she's getting back up. Oh my gosh, so much teen love in this episode. I am loving this. Oh wow, so she's having her first kiss too. Oh, okay. So it looks like they both had their first kiss, but she's like, my dad's going to kill you if you stay here. So please leave. <laughs> Ask to leave. She's not going to mess around with him. But her brother, on the other hand. Oh, Ashlyn left. Oh, my gosh. Did she? Is she having a shower? Oh, my gosh. She's so naughty. <laughs> Uh, I feel like Azra would get so jealous of Hayden that he's had this, like, I don't know, he's, he's, maybe if he asked out Ashlyn, maybe Azra would get jealous of him because he's, like, got a girlfriend and, and she doesn't have a boyfriend or something like that. I feel like there could be a little bit of sibling rivalry in that sense. Anyway, she's going to go to sleep. 
Uh, Hayden is sleeping. Everyone's kind of sleeping. So I will resume in the morning once um, at least the adults are up. And we'll see if Ashlyn left or not. Okay, it is the morning and it is summer and it is also new skill day. Oops, I didn't mean to try and exit that. <laughs> so that is exciting. The first day of summer, which means is our thing still on heat? Oh no. Uh oh. And we need to get dad to, um, oh, not repair service. He can just repair that himself. We also want to set that to cool us or to cool down the house. And it looks like Ashlyn left. So both teens had their little romance last night from the festival and no one will catch them. <laughs> so that is exciting. Okay. Oh, and Ami's like, oh, thanks sweetie for cleaning up after me. Now, I keep having to check her. Okay, so she's still got a little bit of life left. Oh my gosh, it looks like we're going to get another part out of Ami, which is a good thing. <laughs> uh, so, Awan, uh, he didn't really... He didn't get anything he was meant to get done completed. So, he needs to try three different flavors from the bubble blower. I mean, I guess we could just do that right now. Oh my gosh, Ami's about to pass out from the heat. So, did is she... Maybe she needs to change it to the cooler more quickly it should turn blue i think is that right if she goes up to it it'll turn blue in a second yeah ah uh, i f i feel relieved from that yay and let's go over to army and share the new skill day spirit and you know what i reckon he should go ahead and let's get him to write a book from his new office space Let's write, resume writing. Oh, he's already started writing a book. So he can tick this off the list. And then, you know, it would have been nice if we had some kind of balcony, I have to say. But we don't, which is kind of sad. But let's look up the bubble blower. Uh, what have we got here? A thousand dollars for a bubble blower? Are you kidding me? This is so sus as well. I know it's like a Sims. Uh, it's. It's a Sims thing that's been in like every Sims game, but I've always been like, I don't, I don't understand why. <laughs> uh, these chairs do not go with our house. I, I'm disliking them. I think, I know it's kind of boring to go black. Oh, we could go with this fun octopus color. I mean, it kind of works. Actually, no, we'll go black. We'll go black with this like nice blue Moroccan looking bubble blower, quote unquote. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of excited for him to use this. <laughs> okay, oh, so he, he doesn't wanna write his new book? You're not gonna make the most of skill day from blowing bubbles, okay? Please just write your book and then I will be happy, you'll be happy, and then you can go blow some bubbles later. Why is he going to that computer? I am confused. Can, oh, are these, is this flower pot in the way or something maybe? I don't know, maybe that's why. Uh, I didn't really want him to go in her room. How's she feeling actually? I think I'm gonna get her up to have a shower and then she can have something to eat. And in terms of Hayden, uh, wow, he is so stinky. Oh, he's good. Oh my gosh, he's looking disgusting. Oh, I feel sorry for Ashlyn. Good grief, you need to go have a shower, boy. He's like, I really need a shower. You do. Uh oh. What is that? Oh, because he's the lowest of the low, I think. Please, not army. Okay, good. I just. Oh my gosh. I thought the whole blue floor was like water everywhere. And yeah, I don't think army would really mind that Azra's in the shower or vice versa. Like, they're family. Oh my gosh. Well, she's. You know what? Let's just hire a repair service because I know we can get Awan to do it, but I feel like Ami's like, no, he needs to write his book. Oh my gosh. If he doesn't have... Oh, why is everything breaking? You know what? Fine. Replace. I just... I oh no. Why did I replace that when the repairman was already coming? I'm so silly sometimes. Okay. Can you please have a shower? It's so gross. He won't just shower. Get in there. <laughs> I'm like getting frustrated at him as if I was his mother or something. Okay, let's have some breakfast. Uh, let's do a Sunday omelet. Oh, good. Here's uh, the help. Avani. How are you doing, Avani? I like the color of her outfit. That I like brown, you know. 
I'm into the Browns. Uh, we also have a few things to sell too. And Azra does have a new job. She's a nanny, so she does have to work today too. Uh, and her performance is average because we haven't really done much yet. Okay, well, once Ami makes food, we can um, eat. So let's maybe set the table. And who's calling? Is this your girlfriend? Oh my gosh, his mom knows about it. Hey, I heard you became friends with Ashlyn. She's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, his mom. He's like, mom, stop. How do you know? She's got eyes everywhere. Moms have eyes everywhere, they say. Oh, I'm so annoyed I didn't get her to fix the sink. What, you don't like our bubble blower? Wow, did she just diss our bubble blower? You're just jealous that you don't get to, that you don't have to, that you don't get to blow bubbles with us. <laughs> Took me a while to get that out. Reach writing level seven, excellent. Is that all done then? No, he hasn't finished his book yet. Oh my gosh, he has a long way to go before he finishes that book. Okay, I'm gonna get him to take a break then. She's like, Ami, is breakfast almost ready? Oh my gosh, we're rich. Whoa, holy, she's making more dosh in her books than her dad is. What, what level is she? I didn't think she's that, she's level five writing skill. She's still a bit behind her dad in writing skill. Oh, wow, excuse me, as if you're gonna cook something when your grandmother has made a beautiful oh, meal. What are you? Ami should have a go at him and just give him a little bit of a, insult for him eating chips instead of a beautifully cooked omelet she's like how dare you not appreciate the fact that i've made fresh omelet from the chickens down the road <laughs> go get yourself some omelet okay <laughs> it's okay that they have disagreements sometimes but he he should know better he should definitely know better. Look at this. It's like a nice, a nice Sunday lunch. Oh, I love his family so much. It's so sweet. <laughs> so Azra also, I believe Azra doesn't have the greatest relationship with her mom. Is that right? It's a fairly low relationship. It's not like she dislikes her mom heaps, but I don't think she's ever particularly got along with her so I think she's gonna have a little bit of a go at her dad for you know not being cool like why are you suddenly inviting her mom over or whatever she I think that would cause a little bit of tension you know the mom just walking back into their life again and he can be like I knew you were out last night Azra so you need to watch your curfew missy if you're talking about independence. She's like, how do you know I was out last night? Did mom tell you? It's like, well, yes. And then she can be like, well, I'm just, mom just thinks she can walk back into our lives when she hasn't been here this entire time. Just when you start doing well. Get a clue. <laughs> it's going to cause a little bit of dramas, I think. Um, so Hayden's just going to sit at the end of the table and be like, oh, chill out, Ezra. <laughs> and he's probably like, I'm going to ask a girl out today. <laughs> I kind of think it would be nice for him to go out on a date uh, with Ashlyn. Is this winter music? Uh, actually, no. Let's change the station to hip hop or something. Okay. And we'll get his dad to blow some bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, my bubbles. Uh, we'll do the cosmic encounter. Oh my gosh, Ami, look at you using your iPad. Look at you, Missy. I'm actually gonna get her to have a quick nap as well. Okay, so Azra is feeling pretty good. Uh, Hayden is just gonna get a few things. Hey, I heard you became friends with Ashlyn. I know, mom, like shush. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the bubble blower. What is this? Is this making him more tired? What was that? Did that? make him tired sleeping soundly from napping okay i think the bubbles might have done that i don't see what try three different i'm so confused right now okay you missy i want you to get writing because it's new skill day and we need to make the most of that so let's get her in here uh writing <laughs> where's writing right 
resume writing her short novel. Hey, I heard you became friends with Ashton. Well, obviously, dude, why are you still sleeping? We can't even exit that. It must, you know what? Let's let's change the flavor because that, that did something weird. <laughs> I don't like this bubble blower. This bubble blower creeps me out. Look at it. Ugh. Okay, Asra, where are you? She's, okay, so she's, her skills are increasing as long as someone's skills are increasing. And you know what? Before you go out on a date, I want you to bake a few things because we need to level you up a bit. Oh, carrot cake. Yum. Oh, I want to make carrot cake. Can we just, are we able to just order vegetables now? Purchase gifts, can we just buy some carrots? I thought we could. Gardening, carrots, carrots, carrots. Give me a carrot, no! We can only get like apples and stuff, lame. I wanna make a carrot tree. <laughs> okay, let's just, uh, let's bake something like a cheesy bread. Love that we want to get that baking skill up let's just make the most of skill day oh good and she's already leveled up to level six that's beautiful oh my gosh i hate this bubble machine do you want to go out on a date naomi not right now we're currently sleeping <laughs> anyway you guys i might leave this part right here um Army seems to be holding on. She doesn't have a whole heap of time left, but I'm assuming there's gonna be a couple more parts. So yeah, I might just keep playing this now because I'm kind of enjoying this a lot. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I can't wait to speak to you soon. So, so.